This is Booger, my trusted tractor for a couple of years now, but now something's wrong with that tire. So now I have to figure out what's wrong and hope that it's fixable, because if it's one season I really need a tractor, it's now in the winter time. I had a friend over and we took the tire off, so now I had a three-legged tractor and eight water buffaloes relying on me to provide them with food that's wrapped in those bales, which I usually distribute with the tractor. I would have to try and tip it over and roll it uh, into the eating area. The only problem though is uh, that it's uh, heavy. So I need to find the one with the perfect location, both that I can fit in behind it and tip it over, and also that it's not too far away for me to, to roll it. If I were only a little bit stronger and this was a little less slippery, I think this would work. I have some hangry or at least hungry spectators and they're curious but we need to move them out of the way so they can roll the bale in there. Almost forgot one thing. You up, Mess, come here. Bra. Frink, yeah. Frink, yeah. Frink, yeah. Uh, they know what's up, it's feeding time, and they they know it, so uh, they don't want to stay away. I had a visit from my Icelandic friends up the street that helped me with locating the problem. They ordered new parts and we decided that moving bales around by hand wasn't the way to go, 
so they wanted to place four bales out in the field, which I then could fence around and open one at a time, so I had the feeding situation under control while waiting for the parts to arrive. Seems like a thick layer of grass on top of the soil in the winter and in addition to snow insulates uh, enough so that the ground doesn't freeze. So I uh, won't be needing this after all. I've had a little trouble keeping my fence hot. I don't know if it's the ground that's frozen or my wire that's just old. Uh, so I got a new one, 400 meters of brand new poly wire. It doesn't have a buffalo on here but it has a wild boar and a wolf, so I guess that's a good sign. Okay, so now it's time to serve the dinner. Uh, it's with the deepest pride and greatest pleasure. But before we do that, I want to see if we have some more juice on the fence uh, with the new poly wire. Okay, so that was pretty much the same as we had last time. Uh, so that tells me that the, the old poly wire still works. That's right, I forgot to open the door. So that's the problem with buffaloes, they are too curious, so whenever I put a tripod and a camera in here, they just want to sniff it and lick it, uh, at, at least Sir licks a lot. But they're fed and the fence works and it's too dark, so let's cut to another day. I got a letter and it's addressed to uh, me and Burger. It says here it was sent December 14th and I guess the postal service are eating cake because uh, that's almost one and a half month ago. And it's from Rob from uh, Miller Racing, and it and it actually smells pretty nice. Cherry, thanks, Rob. A couple of weeks went by and the parts had arrived, but working outside with metal in 20 below isn't all that joyful, so I made a fire to at least try and make it bearable.
We were missing a couple of bolts and the grease was almost frozen, so we decided that next time something like this happens, I should have a big heated shop for us to work in. I agreed, but made no promises. Then all that was left for me to do was to attach the bolts and reattach the tire. I gotta say it's a little cumbersome when the whole farm's winter operation is based on having a tractor and you don't have a tractor. Uh, but somehow the last two weeks went by and uh, we're still in operation and uh, everyone's alive. Not with just a little help from my friends, yet again. I'm eager to see if uh, Booger will start after two weeks. It's been uh, between minus 15 and 20 degrees Celsius the, the whole time. That's one thing. The other thing is did this actually solve the problem? I can't help but to think that it still feels a little bit off, uh, but I'm gonna try and drive it and you can decide for yourself. Thanks for watching, see you next time, stay safe. <laughs>